What's going on guys? Let's get into the topic of cardio. With cardio, there's multiple options and there's a lot of things you could read on the internet on how to do cardio and it's best way to do cardio. My opinion personally, find what works for you and see how effective it is. And if it works, keep doing it. Don't change a thing, all right? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, when it comes to different types of cardio, there's multiple. There's low impact, there's medium impact, and there's high intensity cardio. When you're doing low impact, that's something like a walk. With a walk, you should be able to hold a conversation and shouldn't be too challenging, but at the same time, it still rises your heart rate, which makes it cardio. Now, when we're talking about medium impact, we're talking about going on like a five mile run, steady pace, you're sweating, you're working a bit, but it's not crazy, crazy challenging. Now, high intensity interval training is something a little bit different. We're gonna rise and then lower your heart rate, raise and lower your heart rate, but you get that break in between. So something like a 40 second sprint and then a 20 second rest or vice versa, 20 second sprint, 40 second rest. That's the interval part of it. A lot of the conversations I have with my clients are fat loss compared to muscle loss and just overall weight loss. There's a big topic here. So when it comes to fat loss, in my opinion, the best way to get fat loss only while maintaining your muscle mass is to do something like low impact cardio. That's something like a treadmill walk at like a three speed on like a five or six incline and doing that at a steady pace where your heart rate is anywhere in between that 110 to 130 range. That's fat loss only. Now when you're talking about HIT, that's kind of on the drastic scale where we're really going for weight loss total, but we gotta also realize, guys, that muscle weighs more than fat. So when you're looking at that calorie expenditure after a day of doing like HIIT training, you gotta realize that some of those calories, I would say predominantly are from muscle loss. So when we're looking at fat loss total, I would recommend going on a treadmill or doing some form of hiking or jump rope at a nice, easy pace where you're still able to hold a conversation while doing so. The type of cardio you're doing really has to align with your specific goals. So if you are an athlete, you need to work on your endurance. So muscle building might not be a priority for you in that current moment. If you are a distance runner, it's the same thing. You're looking to have a lean physique. You wanna be able to go long distance runs. You wanna have that endurance. You wanna build that cardiovascular health. Muscle building might not be for you. So prioritizing strictly only fat loss might not be what makes the most sense for you. For me, I like to keep lean year round. I like to do some sort of steady state cardio three to four times a week from anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes just to keep myself cardiovascularly in shape, but as well as maintaining a lean physique. One of the most important things I talk to my clients about is getting your step count up. A lot of us live a sedentary lifestyle. We're prone to looking at our phones. We're prone to looking at Netflix, sitting on our butt all day. And that's no good. We wanna get up, go for a walk, use our legs, get moving, all right? With our step count, getting a high step count, anywhere from eight to 10,000 steps a day helps with multiple things. It helps with fat loss, it helps with energy, it helps with digestion, all those things. I like to pride myself on actually taking a walk, about a 10 minute walk, post meal sometimes. If I have the chance, I try and take a 10 minute walk just to aid in digestion alone. Now, when it came to the pandemic, I can't tell you the amount of clients that I had that just put on the weight that they lost previously with me back because they lost that commute. All we had to do is change that step count and they would go back to the way that their body was progressing. Other than that, keeping that workout routine, the five to six days a week of training, or if you're doing three to four days of training, I think that's proper and it's the way it should be, around 150 minutes of training a week. But if you're getting that step count in daily and eating the quality foods, you get the physique you're looking to have.